So what we have here is the uh, 1.5 liter three cylinder engine okay. where we uh, integrated the direct water injection. Okay. This is the, the engine map. Um, you can see here the um, engine speed and the torque. The yellow line is the full load. The white area um, is where we uh, use water injection to, to cool down the engine temperature. Mm -hmm. And what you see here is the actual operating point. If you just step short on the, on the, on the gas, uh, maybe in, in, in a neutral position. And you, you see that, that it moves, so it, it shows you where, where the engine operating point is at the moment. Mm -hmm. And what you see here is the um, fuel consumption benefit in liter per 100 kilometer, and here uh, the percentage. And what you see here is um, three cylinders. Okay. If they turn blue, uh, water injection is active. Okay. Um, and what we want to do now is to um, go around the circle. Okay. I tell you the, the speeds and then we can see how the system works. Perfect. Okay, the first exercise would be to accelerate to 130 kilometers per hour. Okay. Perfect. Full load. Full load from here. Full load, yeah. and we can create um, advantages in the fuel consumption here. Okay. So if you want to, you can now accelerate to 180 kilometers per hour. So now you're partly driving with water instead of uh, fuel. Okay. Okay. And you have the 160 horsepower, you have more than 20% advantage in the fuel consumption. Water injection is active all the time. Now you can drive constantly at 100, 180, please. You see, if you drive constantly at 180, you don't need water. So now you can slow down to 80 again, please. Okay, and if you drive like this, you see the operating point is in the middle of the engine map and there's no need for water injection okay. but if you go down to um, lower engine loads you can see that there's also uh, benefit in fuel consumption because of the higher compression ratio okay. okay now you can imagine that um, you maybe will overtake uh, a truck so you can accelerate to 130 again so now water injection is active again okay. again uh, benefits in fuel consumption The only question that I'm, that I'm probably going to ask him is: Are the fuel consumption, the fuel consumption, uh, better if the engine is larger, or displacement doesn't matter? Well, the 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 lower, um, the smaller the engine is, and and the higher the um, the ratio between um, well, engine output yeah. and and capacity of the engine, okay. the more benefit you can take out of the system.